Hello guys, welcome back, Dimitri here. Today I want to show you again how to speed up your DayZ. I made a video about a year ago, maybe one and a half years ago. Uh, and in that video I showed you that you can enter some launch commands that can improve your FPS. Um, I showed you that... Uh, Maybe upgrading your RAM instead of your SSD is going to stop the stuttering that you have. If you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, it's going to stutter. So you need at least 12 or 16 gigabytes for Daisy to run optimally. Optimally? Optimally. Whatever. So, this is going to be a quick tutorial. This is uh, one of the um, fast tutorials out there for Daisy because I know there's not much. Good, there's not many good tutorials that just go straight to the point. So, first of all, I don't know if you're using Daisy Sol Launcher or the normal, uh, the normal official launcher. But whatever you use, these launch commands are valid. So there's three launch commands you want to use. If you're using the Daisy Sol Launcher, you can just uh, hit no splash, no pause, and uh, no benchmark. So the first uh, launch option is use all available cores. The second one is high, and the third one is Windows XP or Win XP. So you, I'm gonna put this in the description. Just copy it, paste it in additional parameters in the DC Sol launcher. Or if you are using the normal uh, Daisy launcher, just right-click on Steam Daisy, uh, then go to Launch Options, and just paste them in, close it, and run your game, and you're gonna be fine. But uh, there's something different in this tutorial that I wanna show you and it involves using your control panel. If you're using NVIDIA, uh, you're gonna want to... you're gonna want to go to... Um, or uh, uh, 3D settings, and the first option, which is adjust image settings with preview. Um, select the second option here, use the advanced 3D image settings, then just press take me there. Now over here, this is very important, you want to change a few settings, so the most important settings here, to minimize your uh, input lag, uh, use this low latency mode. This fix my um, input lag, just turn it on ultra. Now notice, this is like a controversial thing, because uh, if you have a weaker graphics card, it's gonna be, it's gonna cause you to have less FPS. But you shouldn't look at it like that because you're gonna have less input lag. So the F less FPS that you have is the real FPS, is the FPS that your CPU and your GPU can handle uh, at no latency, so no um, no input lag. But if you choose to turn this off, you may have 10 or 20 more FPS, but it's like fake FPS. You have that FPS, but like your latency or your input is there uh, your input lag is there so turning this to ultra is gonna definitely help you with the pvp and just moving around in general and um, playing the game so that's first option the second option in your uh, control panel is um OpenGL rendering, okay, that you're, we're gonna put that on that, but this 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 option is very important. So power management management mode, instead of holding it uh, at optimal power or adaptive, just press on prefer maximum performance. That's the best you can do. Now this is as well important shader cache size. So I have very good PC, very good CPU and GPU, but I had stuttering in my DZ. So I fixed this by turning this to disabled because I have a HDD. Now listen, if you have SSD, uh, you might want to put this to driver default or at least 5 gigabytes because it's gonna, uh, instead of compiling the, sh the shaders every time uh, when you walk into a city or something, it's gonna store them to your SSD and it's gonna load them. But, but, but because we have, some of us have uh, HDDs and HDDs are way slower than SSDs, so it's gonna cause like stuttering when you're entering a town or whatever, so just disable it. Now let's go next, Tre um, a threaded optimization, this is going to use uh, more cores on your CPU, so just enable it, uh, it's going to add a lot of FPS if you have a multiple core CPU, like me, uh, 
Trin linear optimization, you can turn that on. Um, everything else, vertical sync, turn that off. Triple buffering. De depends if you have... Um, I mean, this is for OpenGL ap applications anyway, so this doesn't matter. I'm going to turn it off. Um, yeah, I think that's all over here. Now, just go apply. That's important. Don't forget to apply the settings, obviously. Then go to configure surround physics. Now, you want to select your physics settings processor to NVIDIA GTX 1080 or whatever graphics card you have. And then you're going to have an option here to apply, so apply that. And then just close it off. Now, the third thing you want to do is open your documents. So basically, just go to uh, documents, that means, then go to, uh, go to Daisy. Now, this is very important. Go to your profile, uh, open your, um, whatever your PC name is. My na PC name is SKO here, so it's going to be your name, your PC name here, underscore settings. So open that up with a notepad or notepad plus plus like I am here. So, uh, this option is very important and very annoying. You want to turn this to zero. It's going to be 30 by default. Just put it at zero. Now, the next one is the head bob. We can turn that to zero as well. Uh, sensitivity, if you, if you cannot, if you cannot uh, adjust your sensitivity in the game, like if you like low sensitivity like I do, you can just adjust it here to even lower sensitivity. I did 18. You can just like type like... 18 like that and it's gonna work save it uh, I wouldn't play with this because this is your in-game options you can just do it from the in-game like lowering everything in the game I don't, like that doesn't make too much difference like the most difference in-game settings do is the object detail uh, setting that's the only setting you wanna put on low or poor uh, to improve your FPS everything else is like meh depends so that's the most important options you want to have on your DZ, uh, as far as I know, because I've investigated a lot, a lot on the internet about DZ lag, and and uh, from my own experience, this is what helped me the most. I the, the Windows like uh, the Win XP launch command, the use all available cores helps a lot, as well as uh, with the stuttering, the the, the uh, Nvidia control panel helps a lot and. Yeah, I hope you guys get more FPS on your game and hopefully you can get more quality quality gameplay and kills and just enjoy the game. But my advice is, if you really care about your Daisy experience, uh, save up some money and upgrade your CPU, your GPU and add some quality RAM because people often use, like, like they buy top tier CPUs, top tier GPUs, but they buy the shittiest possible RAM there is. And obviously your CPU is limited to your RAM memory. So if you want your ultimate expensive CPU to run optimally, optimally, oh my God, this word, you really, really, really need to buy some uh, high frequency, uh, uh, low latency uh, RAM, at least like 16 gigabytes. Yeah. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy uh, enjoyed this video. Please, thumbs up, comment, and like, and share the video, whatever. And also, a subscribe is... A subscribe means a lot to me, so...